This tutorial is about creating a form based on a table. Uh, so the way to do this is to uh, highlight or click on a table and um, basically you just click on create and then form but first you should really check something which is to make sure that the relationships are set properly and in this case we are going to highlight the order form and so we wanted to see that the uh, relationship between order and order detail were set up properly and here we see the relationship between order and order ID on both tables uh, in that relationship set and if you want to see the properties of that you would just of course uh, right click on the line click edit relationship and you could see that it's a one-to-many relationship and everything appears to be set up fine so we're going to close that uh, again orders is highlighted and we click on create and then we click on form and if everything went well then we see that um, we have a uh, new form here called orders and we can save that so we click on the header click save and click um, and you know it's my habit I type FRM for form here uh, form orders that's fine and then we have order ID now the new means uh, in there that uh, as we create a new one it will always auto number that's an auto number field so always increase by one um, and uh, as you recall uh, we wanted a drop down box for customer IDs so uh, what we do to accomplish or, or to change this to a drop down box is we need to do a few little things here uh, first is you click in there so it's got the orange outline and then you right click and uh, towards the bottom here it says change to and you, you uh, then of course move to the right and change it to a combo box okay and as soon as we do that you notice it has a drop down arrow in it and uh, let's see what happens we go to form view we click on the drop down box and nothing happens because we haven't set it up so let's go let's set that up so I right click in the uh, header and uh, click design view and I click on customer ID and um, I can either right click and open up properties or I can just click on properties sheet now the properties sheet uh, ha we can uh, once we have this open we can really change properties of anything uh, in the form but we're really interested in this customer ID combo box so it says selection type up here combo box customer ID is the name of it um, and what I need to do is set up the the data in the box now the control source just means where am I going to store uh, what I select in the customer ID and the row source means where do I get what I'm going to store so customer ID uh, is the name of the field that we want to store the data in the row source the place where we're going to get the data is um, our customers table and so I click the down arrow there uh, in the row source and click on customers and uh, but that's we're not still we're not quite done and so I want to clip click the ellipsis button and it asks me if I want to invoke the query builder and I say yes and it brings up my query builder here and what I want is customer ID and customer name okay now the reason I want customer name is because customer ID all by itself doesn't mean anything to me I put customer ID in the leftmost column uh, because that's the one I want to store and I'll show you where that where that happens uh, in just a minute and I put customer name next to it the a checkbox in the show column uh, is checked in both cases and I click the X and it asks me if I want to save it I say yes and you can see here that it is created I'll make this bigger for you uh, it's created a SQL statement that says select customers dot customer ID so that's the custom that's the field we want from customers that customer name from customers so um, uh, that's the query that we wanted okay uh, and the next thing says real source type query certainly the bound column is one so the the leftmost column customer ID 
that's the bound column. That's the column that will be taken. The data from that column will be taken and put in the customer ID field in our um, orders table. Now there's one other thing we have to do here. Uh, and if we go over to format, I'll make this a little less white. This is, uh, so this is, again, for the combo box, it says column count one. And what that means is that uh, all we have is one column that will show us. So if I was to go over here to the uh, form view and click on that, you'd see that all I have is the um, uh, customer IDs. And I, as you know, we want to see more than that. So I'm going to go back to design view. I'm going to change the column count to two. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to save it because I'm pretty go to form view to look to see what I have and here you see that we have not only the the customer ID but we have the customer name and when I click on one it will put that customer ID number in that field so that is um, how you create a form based on a table now you might say well how do I enter the data here so we put the customer ID in already you can click on the order date field and click um, today's date, uh, which whatever day that happens to be. And if you had some notes, you could put that in. And then there is, um, you. so we have started an order, which uh, is based on this customer and today's date. And we wanted to, they, of course, are going to order something. And so we have this bottom table that allows us to do that. And I don't know any title IDs off the top of my head. So what I have to do is open that table and pick one. So we have one here is PC8888 Secrets of Silicon Valley. And so I'll close that and we'll go PC8888. Uh, go over here and type. They want three of those. And I go to the next line, just click on that. Of course, I don't know any of these things. PS1372. We'll call it that one. Uh, PS1372. They want one of those and um, I click the um, to the next field or the right arrow next record and that saves it and if you want to make sure you've saved it you can close the form of course go to the orders table and you can see that we've entered one order if I go to the order detail order then you will see that I've ordered that there's two items associated with the order ID of one Okay, so that's exactly what we uh, wanted to have. So uh, that gets you in good shape for creating the table, or excuse me, a form based on the table, as well as doing the uh, combo box uh, and entering data.